Steph, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming page five of my bucket list series. Um, and again, you guys know this is kind of a long series, so I'm just jump straight in. First section is food. Um, so I have eat at the top 10 restaurants in the world and I have them listed underneath. I'll read them in a minute. Eat at the world's most exclusive restaurant, which is the restaurant of Joel Rubichon in the USA. Eat dinner in the sky and have high tea at the Plaza Hotel. Uh, so, eat at the top 10 restaurants in the world. These are listed as Noma, Denmark, El Bole, Spain, The Fat Dark UK, El Cela de Carosa in, oh, sorry, El Cela de Carroca in Spain, Margarita in Spain, uh, Osteria Frans Francescana in Italy, Alinea, Al Alinea, 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 something like that, in the USA, Daniel in the USA, Arzac in Spain, and Passe, USA. Um, now, this is the top 10, I believe, from 2012. It does fluctuate a little bit, but um, I have checked a, f a few times, and these are the most common ones that sort of keep popping up from year to year, so I, I sort of went with those. Um, I'm, I'm a foodie, but I'm also not a foodie in the sense that, like, I'm a foodie in that I love food, I love to eat, I love exotic things, um, to an extent. I love flavour and I love, f like, fulfilment in foods and stuff. Now, I'm a very fussy eater, however, so it makes it hard to classify myself as a foodie, which is why I also say I'm not a foodie. Um, because I, I don't really like um, Asian foods or Middle Eastern foods or anything like that. I'm, some African foods I can't really do. Um, I'm very Americanized and European when it comes to my foods. Um, but I am in my, like, as I'm getting older, I have been branching out, trying new things and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so I do definitely want to try all of these. And there is... One from Denmark, one from the UK, three from the US, three from Spain, four from Spain, sorry, and one from Italy. So they are very European and USA based anyway, so they are foods that I would eat. Eat at the world's most exclusive restaurant. If you have the opportunity to do that, why would you not do it? So I think the waiting list um, was about three and a half years to get a table at this restaurant. Um when I decide I want to go to the US, I'm going to be put on that list. Um, and I'm going to try and time it right. So, eat dinner in the sky. That's one of those, it's it's like a, mm, where's it located? I think there's a couple of them, but basically it's a crane. It's like a platform on a crane and you have dinner literally suspended in the sky by a crane. I just think that would be such a cool experience. And have high tea at the Plaza Hotel. This is referring to the Plaza New York. I just think that would be really, really fun, and I would feel so sophisticated and so classy and so wealthy and so rich and so fabulous doing that. So, yeah. Next section here is charity, and I've got join a big brother or big sister program, sponsor a child, start a charity, volunteer at a homeless shelter, create a line of charity dolls, open a not-for-profit youth centre, and donate my hair to a cancer patient. Uh, so, join a big brother, big sister program. This comes from my want to help people. Um, I don't even think we have big brother and big sister programs here in Australia. So, if we don't, I want to establish one, as we'll get to in a minute. Um, but I, I want to see if it's possible, like, if we have anything like that in Australia that's not through a church, because I'm not religious. No offense meant to anyone who is religious. I'm just not into it. Don't push it on me, because I don't know. No. If you want a video on that, let me know. Leave me a comment below and I'll, I'll do one. Anyway, I really want to do that just because I want to help people, especially kids in need and like kids who don't really have role models or parents that are really um, there for them in a structural sense and really don't have any sort of fundaments for them. Sponsor a child. I want to sponsor a child in Africa. I want to... I, I want to have a sponsored child as well, and I want to be able to offer them opportunities that they otherwise wouldn't have. I feel very passionate about this, and I'm very committed to this. 
Um, so I definitely 100% want to do it. Start a charity. I want to start a charity called Africa. Um, it is an Africa. It is a, it is a, what's it called? An acronym. Is that what's it called? Yeah. An acronym. Ac what? What? <laughs> Acrofim. What the hell is an ac Okay. <laughs> I want to raise, a ch I want to start a, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, I'm not even going to explain it. If you want a video on the charity that I want to start, leave me a comment below for that as well. But I want to start a charity to help people in, like kids in Africa and stuff like that. I want it to be really specific to that kind of cause, but also take out international eventually as well. I just want to start in um, Africa. Volunteer at a homeless shelter. This is one of those things that I feel everyone should do at least once in their life. I personally have not done it yet, but I feel like if you can give yourself one day where you want to help and you feel inclined to help then it's really it's 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 a positive and life-changing experience because homeless people can sometimes be the nicest people and they can be the most humble that you will ever meet and I, I think if you volunteer at a homeless shelter feed them for a couple of hours and then just spend a few hours getting to know them it sounds so cliche and so Hollywood, but they're so, like, pick a homeless person's brain. It will be the best thing you've ever done. Um, there was a homeless man who lived not far from where I used to work, and he would come into my previous workplace every morning for breakfast. Some of the conversations I had with that man, I will take with me for the rest of my life. Some of the things that he has taught me, some of the things that he appreciates, and things just... Talking to people like that can really change your life perspective. So I highly recommend that everybody does that. And I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity. Create a line of charity dolls. I want these to be related to the charity that I want to start. If you would like information on that, leave me a comment below and I will do a charity video. Open a not-for-profit profit youth centre. I would love to do this because I grew up in a low socioeconomic area and there are youth centres and stuff and one is really, really good, but I want to open one that's really big and really opening and not just, you know, 10 kids of an afternoon. I want it to eventually expand and I want to have, you know, like a dance studio and a sports program like or a, a sports team that we can enter in, you know, Saturday competitions for netball or... Um, um, like a, a music studio or a singing teacher or something like that. I want to have things like that just so um, we can like, I can help the community that I grew up in raise the bar a little bit because it's got such a bad rep, rep what's it called? A reputation. It's a bad reputation in that area and I really want to try and help. So my camera cut out and I'm not sure where I was up to um, but it was around the time of my youth center. So yeah, I really want to open that um, to help my community that I grew up in become a better area. And donate my hair to a cancer patient. I want to donate my hair to a cancer patient because um, I feel like that's one of the best satisfactions that you can give. And it's charity work without really sacrificing too much. Not that sacrifice is a bad thing, but you know, it's a, probably a poor choice of words. But anyway... Um, I have very, very long hair, as you guys know. I also can grow it quite, quite quickly. And um, it's very, very healthy and in very good condition. So it's okay. I feel I feel comfortable and confident enough to be able to donate, um, you know, say 30 centimeters of my hair quite willingly to a cancer patient. Um, or, or donating it for, for cancer research, whatever, however it works. But yeah, I really want to do that. Moving down into my hopes and dreams section. Um, I want to have a fireplace, have a skylight, have a secret garden, have a home theater, win the lotto, Powerball, Scratchy, save $10 a day for a year, and write in a journal every day for a year. Uh, I've said in a previous video, video, and I'm just going to say it again, with this section and also the random section, I do understand that a lot of this stuff is a little bit ambitious. Just let me be, okay? It's it's my hopes and dreams. I've written this, as I said, 15 years ago. We're just going to roll with it. Okay, so have a fireplace, have a skylight, have a secret garden, and have a th home theater. All four of these things are in my dream house 
plan. If you guys would like a video on that, let me know in the comments below as well. Fireplace. My mum always often talked about wanting a fireplace and we never had one. So yeah, skylight. She said the same thing about a skylight. And I also just feel like skylights just are pretty. Um, you know, especially if it's over your bed, which is where I want mine to be. And you can look at the stars at night or whatever. I have a secret garden. I'm not a garden person, but the Secret Garden is one of my favourite books, and I just feel like some, a place in my in my yard, or in my, my backyard, my property, which is where I, I want to live, um, if, I feel like a Secret Garden would be just for me, and, you know, it wouldn't get, it wouldn't get ruined by kids playing, playing footy in the backyard, or, um, you know, driving their their Barbies in their Barbie cars through the grass and, and stuff. It would be, you know, fenced off just for me, my peaceful little place, you know, all that kind of stuff. Not to say that I wouldn't let my kids in there, you know, like it wouldn't be, you know, guard dogs at the door and, you know, things like that. But I just feel like a secret garden or a secret garden type area just for myself would be really, really nice. Home theatre, <laughs> because why not? Um, win the lotto slash powerball slash scratchy. Now, I have won money on a scratchy before. I have won, I think the most I ever won was $25. It's not much, I know, but hey, it's a win. This, however, I want it to be a substantial win, so at least $1,000. I know all of this is up to chance, and I, I don't gamble, really, ever, now that I think about it. Um, but... It... It's, it's like the... Um, in a previous video, I did um, my supernatural stuff, like a bend a, bending a spoon with my mind. It's one of those things that's probably not going to happen, but, you know, it's nice to sort of have those dreams still in a bucket list so that you still have things that you can always be trying to work towards. Save $10 a day for a year. This year, I'm actually doing the savings challenge, um, which is the 52-week challenge. So $1 for the first week, $2 for the second week, so on and so forth. Next year, I want to do the $10 a day in addition to my 52-week um, challenge. So, yeah, and write in a journal every day for a year. I was supposed to start that this year. It didn't happen. Life just kind of escaped. Um, but I want to start, in the next couple of months, I want to get into journaling a bit more. It is one of my resolutions, if you've seen my setting New Year's goals video. Um, so I want to start that within the next couple of months. And if I can do it every single day, for a year consistently, so for 365 days or whatever, or until I get, say, I start on, I don't know, the 1st of May. If I can get to the 1st of May 2017, then that's a year. I can cross it off. So, yeah, that's my hopes and dreams. Bit random, but a bit, a bit fun. And then lastly on this page is my random section. Here is just random things that didn't really fit into anywhere else that are just not so normal, I guess you could say. Um, so I've got invent a board game, start a video vlog, start a written blog, blog, sorry, break a world record, learn to play pool, learn to make candles, be in a flash mob, go on a shopping spree, and then in brackets here I've just written $5,000, spend a week at a spa, go to a silent rec retreat, have a white Christmas, buy a cafe, and buy a pub. So breaking this down, invent a board game. How cool would that be? Like, to invent a board game. That is awesome. Who, who even comes up with that? But that would be so cool to be able to do that. Start a video blog. Or a vlog. I haven't exactly started a vlog. However, I've done a couple of vlogs on this channel. But I would call this a video blog because it's the same sort of stuff that I would write, at in, write about in a written blog. So I have crossed it off just here. Underneath that I have start a written blog. I haven't decided on the platform that I want to do this on yet, so I have not yet started that, but I will eventually. Break a world record. I don't know what I want to do it for, but I want to do it. Uh, learn to play pool. I have a lot of friends who play pool, and I always feel really awkward when I go out with them, and I, I don't know how to play, and I get really embarrassed very easily about things like that, so I've never actually tried. Um... But I have a fair few friends who are like, yeah, I'll teach you how to play. So it's on my bucket list to learn to play pool. So that when I do go to the pub and stuff for drinks with friends, I can play pool as well. Learn to make candles. My sister makes candles, my stepsister rather. Um, and I want to learn how to do it 
just for fun. I don't want to sell them. I don't want it to be a business or anything like that. I just want to learn how to make them just because I think they're really cool. I love candles. Uh, being a flash mob, I've actually done this. It's crossed off here. Um, at the Nostalgia Festival a few years ago, we did a flash mob and I was in that and it was so fun. Absolutely loved it. Um, go on a shopping spree. So I've written $5,000 in brackets next to it because I mean, I go on shopping sprees a lot for, like, planner supplies and things like that, but I don't count those because it's sort of just a week-to-week -week basis. I want to have a solid $5,000 or more, and I don't. I want to just go shopping. I don't want to have to worry about looking at the price tags of things that I want to get. I just want to be able to shop and get them all. Spend, and I would, I would love, like, obviously that's everybody's goal in life. You want to earn enough money so that you don't have to look at the price tags when you're shopping. But a, sh a shopping spree where I can do that is suffice enough. Um, spend a week at a spa. I want to go to a spa, like a health spa or like a retreat type spa and just be pampered and cut myself off from technology. Like no phone, no internet, nothing, which is going to be a super struggle for me, but I want to do it. Just to sort of bring myself back down and really just calm and relax my body and my mind at the same time. I want to go to a silent retreat. I feel like a few days to a week would be enough for me in a silent retreat because I am a chatterbox. I do like to talk. Um, but I also feel like going to a silent retreat and just really having to process things with your thoughts and actually really just not make any noises like not speak just really be calm and serene i think that's really really a good idea have a white christmas if this if you live in an area like i do like summer at christmas time and things like that and you've never had a white christmas or even if you live in a colder area but you've never had a white christmas add this to your list because white christmas i feel like is just something that's because i mean you know easter is very spring spring like christmas is very wintry like that's just the associations because it's so americanized so i feel like having that real americanized experience is really good um and then my last two buy a cafe and buy a pub i want to own a cafe and i want to own a pub um as investment property when i am much older i just think it would be nice to sort of really be able to um I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Just to have something that's a little bit different, you know, and, and be able to be like, yeah, this is, this is what I, this is what I own, this is what, you know, um, ha have those different kind of properties and different experiences and have, you know, options. Like when my kids get older, if they really, if they really can't find a job, you know, hey, I've got a cafe go and work in it for a couple days a week, you know, or, oh, you want to be a bartender? Yep, yeah, just head up to the pub, you'll be right. Um, I really want to, I want to own them, and I also think it would be really good learning experience as well. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment down below anything related to these topics, or these categories, rather, oh my god, I cannot speak today. Um, <laughs> comment down below anything that's on your bucket list related to any of these categories. I would love to know. Also, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye!